So what does bring lasting happiness? Well, there are several things, not a terribly long list, but there are several things. Uh, personal relationships do uh, make a difference, uh, successful personal relationships, successful marriages, uh, close friends, uh, joining organizations that are, have supportive contact with other human beings. Uh, those things are very important uh, to happiness. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, helping other people creates uh, a lasting happiness. People who are very much involved in community service and civic activity and things that reach out to people who need their help, those people uh, get uh, uh, a lasting happiness as long as they're engaged in those activities. I did a lot at Harvard to try to get students to engage more in community service and so uh, we were quite successful. Uh, the students were very responsive to this. Uh, and I began to read a lot of the personal accounts that we had them uh, write about their experience. And they all started out the same way, that, that I volunteered for this activity because I wanted to give something back and do good in the world, and I realized the person who benefited most was me. Uh, so students, I think, understood this after the fact, but uh, uh, did not realize that this was going to be personally as rewarding as it was before they engaged in those activities. Uh, religion is, uh, has a positive and lasting effect. Part of that comes from joining a community of faith and, and uh, like other organizational affiliations. Um, but people who have a strong religious faith are happier in the United States. That's not true in all other countries. In a number of European countries, this doesn't show up at all. But in the United States, strong religious faith uh, has a, a lasting effect on, uh, on happiness. Uh, health is, as you would suspect, has an effect, but interestingly, it's not how healthy you actually are. It's not how healthy your doctor would say you are. It's how healthy you think you are. And actually, those two are really uh, only weakly related to one another. Uh, most people's thoughts about their own health do not correspond very closely to what the doctors uh, would say. And it is how people think and not what the doctors say uh, that matters. And finally, and this was a surprise to me, the quality of government has a substantial lasting effect on people's happiness. Uh, it's interesting if you look at the international comparisons of, of happiness that all of the happiest countries are stable democracies that have been stable democracies for decades. Uh, and beyond just being a stable democracy, uh, the amount of personal freedom, the, the, uh, the sense that the government is not corrupt, that it's reasonably efficient, that you have some trust and confidence in it, all of those things are conducive to happiness. One reason why the United States does not, uh, for all its wealth and prosperity, uh, rank at the top of nations in happiness, actually they're substantial way down the list among at least advanced uh, prosperous nations, I'm sure has something to do with uh, the rather jaundiced view of, uh, of government that we, uh, we have in this country. Mm -hmm.